Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lionrider, and welcome back to episode three of Mystic Aquarium. I'm joined today with Croco. Hello. Uh, he's been in uh, a couple episodes of uh, Roger Williams, um, and he's uh, a huge aquarium fan. Yes, that is that is true. I love aquariums more than zoos, in fact. Yeah, so um, I thought I'd have him on this series just because, yeah, he's definitely my local aquarium slash marine expert. So, um, yeah, so uh, today we're doing the Stellar Sea Lion uh, habitat, which is right next to the Harbor Seals and Fur Seals. And um, uh, basically what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm uh, kind of adjusting the path system that I had from uh, last episode. I went on Google uh, Google Earth and like, yeah, basically I found out that the entire path is a straight line, uh, diagonally. Um, and so I basically just cleaned that up, nothing fancy. Sounds fun to deal with the path system. Yeah, uh, well, so that's the good news, because I did want to mention that. Um, so what I've been liking about this series, uh, compared to Roger Williams and stuff, is I've just given up on trying to mess with the path system and terrain and water and stuff. And so I'm literally just uh, making fake paths um, underneath everything and uh, fake walls and stuff to cover up any uh, terrain and that sort of thing. And so basically I'm just making it so that everything looks clean without being a pain. Um, so uh, yeah, so basically like yeah, even though the path is like underneath all this, like it looks clean because I have like those concrete, uh, you know, building pieces underneath. What are you building right now? Uh, so, yeah, so basically, uh, this is an interesting part of the, the stellar sea lion habitat compared to the other, um, other, uh, pinniped enclosures. They have, like, this kind of, like, glass barrier wall, uh, between, like, the guests and the, like, I guess lower, lower area towards the sea lions, which I guess, like, the argument is, like, um, stellar sea lions are basically, like, actual lions. Like, they're large predators, so yep. they would be, so you have to treat it like it's, a, you know, a large predator, like, so, unlike, like, if you fall in the harbor seal enclosure, you know, provided, you know, you can swim, seals aren't gonna attack you, but a stellar sea lion, however, is, you know, a few thousand pounds, <laughs> uh, and it, you know, it's a full carnivore, so... That might, yeah. you know, be an issue. So basically, they just have a couple of preventative walls in place um, in case something happens. Um, they have like uh, similar systems in place for when uh, for exhibiting leopard seals, mm -hmm. which is another, you know, pinniped that lives almost entirely off of meat. Uh, so I was just thinking about that because this seems like what they would do when they have leopard seals. They would treat it like it was an actual leopard i guess you know yeah exactly like just something that like is an actual like you know some, something that isn't like your standard like seal that's like cute and stuff like it's an actual like predator and you need to address it uh yeah. so what i'm doing right now i just had to delete a couple of rocks from la last episode to make um they have a, a small viewing area right next to the um uh, harbor seal enclosure that's just a small uh, small wall with like glass on it and so I just want to include that um, but yeah uh, what's funny though is even though the uh, stellar sea lions are you know dangerous um, what's funny is the main male uh, in the in the enclosure there's four four stellar sea lions there's uh, a, ma a male and then four uh, or three females which are like kind of like his like breeding pod, um, and the male's name is Astro. And uh, the funny story about him is, uh, even though he's a male and supposed to be the most territorial, uh, he's apparently like uh, not really a uh, threat to humans because basically they've tried releasing him into the wild three times now in California, and every time he uh, keeps coming up to people because he was raised in captivity. <laughs> so he's, uh, so at this point, Mystic has basically said he's too much of a liability to um, keep in the wild or try to even keep him in the wild at this point. So just because he's too nice to humans, like he, he's too, you know, comfortable around humans and stuff and like, you know, oh, they'll feed me and blah, blah, blah. 
And so it's actually more dangerous keeping him in the wild than in captivity at this point. Um, but his, uh, his three other breeding pairs, or, uh, breeding pairs, um, like, his little harem of females that he has, like, apparently are, like, way more aggressive. <laughs> um, so, nice. so, like, there's a, a big female, I don't know her name, but, like, she's, like, basically, like, the boss or whatever, and, like, bullies Astro around. Uh, I, that's, pro that's definitely anomalous, because, yeah. like, Pinnipeds aren't like that normally. Yeah, so it's kind of like weird, but you know, um, yeah. So he just couldn't be released into the wild at all. So uh, right now, I'm basically using those uh, rocks that I did in the last episode to kind of uh, basically uh, lay out all of the land area. Um, so this is what I was saying about I'm not messing with terrain. I'm literally building all of the land I need out of rocks directly. And I'm building walls and stuff also out of either rock or concrete, just so that you know, there's no, you know, issues. You know, Nick, this is a really great Formosan Black Bear exhibit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, the Stellar Sea Lions are using the Grizzly Bear. Um, and oh. unlike the... Well, because I'm making sure that all the Sea Lions are using bears of some kind. Um, so my harbor seals use the Formosan, uh, I believe I use the Himalayan brown bear for the fur seals, um, and these guys use the grizzly. Um, Makes sense. And so basically everything is just, you know, uh, all using bear rigs because they all need to swim and stuff of that nature. Um, but what was a, a thing that I did specifically for the Stellars is because they're so much larger than other sea lion species, I basically went into the main OVL file and uh, made it three times larger um, than a normal bear, I guess. So um, even though like this looks like a big enclosure and stuff, like you'll you'll see at the very end, like when I place them in, like it's actually not that big relative to the size of these things, which in real life are so massive, like they are like impressively That's, big. They're like one of the largest pinniped species in the world. Yeah, in I fact, think I think they're only rivaled by like walruses and like uh, uh, elephants. Walruses. Seals. Well, well, yeah, elephant seals, walruses, and stellar sea lions, those are the three largest types of pinnipeds. Yeah, so, like, these guys are really big, um, and, uh, so yeah, like, uh, it's kind of crazy, because, yeah, for a while, they just had, uh, just the, like, one, the one male astro, and then, yeah, now they have, like, four of them in this <laughs> enclosure, and so it's big, but not, you know, I don't even know if it's that big for, like, four of them to be kept in, but... You know, they don't seem to mind, you know, they all get along and whatever. Uh, do they breed them? Uh, so that was like, they say, they say it's a breeding, uh, pod, but to my knowledge, there's never been babies. Um, uh, like, ever, ever, ever since I was a kid going to the aquarium, it was basically, they had, um, like, he, they added one mate for Astro, uh, and then I guess that turned into two mates, and then now they have three mates for him. None of them have, you know, at, at least, you know, physically in the aquarium that I've seen given offspring. Um, it's possible that they have. I just am not entirely sure. Um, it would be nice to have a breeding population of stellar sea lions in the United States, though, because... Uh, they don't, they're not really that common in captivity for obvious reasons. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, because I believe, uh, Mystic is the only holder of stellar sea lions in the, in America. No, there's the Alaska Sea Life Center. Oh, well, I guess, well, mainland is kind of whatever, um... Contiguous. But, yeah, um, but yeah, like, they're, like, the only one in, like, continental United States that, like, has them. Um, but yeah, so, uh, right now I'm basically making, they have a very big door, um, for the, the sea lions. Uh, it's literally, like, a metal, like, bar, like, door. Like, like, almost like a dungeon type thing. Um, cause it's made out of, like, just reinforced metal, and, like, it's, it's a pretty hefty looking door. Um, uh, do you know, do you know what the rock work in this exhibit is made of? Um... I'm not entirely sure myself. I want to say it's probably just uh, some form of concrete. Um, it's it's hard to tell because on the harbor seal enclosure, you can see that the rock work is obviously artificial. 
Um, but I'm not entirely sure. It almost looked like, and when I saw like the little crack in the harbor seal thing, it looked like it was almost like made out of plaster. Like it was like hollow on the inside. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure, but it definitely I think is some form of concrete. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're probably like you know looking at like all the rock work I'm doing. Um, the the uh, stellar sea lion enclosure is like a lot more um, like I don't even like rugged than the harbor seals. Uh, there's like it, it, like the entire uh, left side that I'm making right now. It literally looks like a a bunch of like crumbled up fallen rocks and stuff. It would make sense because they live in like uh, the North Pacific, which is a very very rugged area to live in, especially if you're like a mammal. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, because I really like the rock work I've done for uh, the last two episodes. I think, like, overall, like, in the final product, like, it looks like a really cool, like, little, um, dual exhibit. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. It looks amazing. Uh, oh, so yeah, this is what I was talking about, like, making that kind of, like, metal bar gate. Um, so this is, uh, normally how they're, uh, you know, brought inside slash fed. And, um, yeah, it's literally, like, just reinforced iron bars, like, um, it, it looks, like, almost like a classic zoo slash, like, dungeon look, like, it's just a lot of, you know, iron bars, like, against the, the rocks, um, usually, like they'll... Actual... Oh, so, uh, it looks like an actual lion containment area. Yeah, exactly, like, it's pretty much exactly, like, what it looks like, because, um... Sometimes they'll come up and they'll try to, like, uh, you know, get food there and that sort of thing. Um, and so for the most part, I think I've basically laid out the majority of the actual basic rocks. So now I'm starting to do some of the, uh, the different color, um, uh, kind of like floating rocks they have in the, uh, habitat. So there, uh, I used a couple of different, uh, lighter colors, such as, like, the tundra and temperate and that sort of thing. Uh, just to like uh, add some like color variety to the actual enclosure. Um, I think the way the lighting was falling on these rocks made it look like super good looking. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. The in game lighting just looked really good, like for this habitat in the end. Yeah, um, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, right now, basically, uh, I'm just trying to make the. Uh, the flat walls that I have already on the side, like, and make them, you know, uh, less noticeable that they're obviously, you know, copy and paste it flat walls. Um, so, uh, it, I, I'm basically just slowly but surely, like, building up, um, the different height levels. Because in the enclosure, there's the tall wall, um, that, you know, is basically to hide the show building, um, behind, uh, both the harbor seal and the stellar sea line. Um, which I've, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I don't know if I want to make that an episode or not. Um, uh, I don't know how interested people are in, like, behind-the-scenes, uh, habitat enclosure well, buildings. You know what you should do? It should be, like, a Minecraft channel say, so I did some building off-camera. Yeah, exactly, because, like, it's, it's a big facility, obviously. Like, it's, it's the holding facility for, again, the, the stellar sea lions, the harbor seals, the fur seals, the belugas, like, all of them and at once. Um, so I feel like I almost should make an episode out of it, but I, again, it won't have any animals in it. So, I'm, and the other thing is I, I obviously haven't been in the building, so it'd be me totally guessing what everything is. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what I want to do about it yet, but, um, I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know, um, in the future, uh, cause, uh, I've been doing a couple episodes of Mystic just because people have been, you know, requesting Mystic for so long. But uh, I do want to head back to Roger Williams and, like, Atlas um, soonish, um, just to, like, you know, finish those up. Roger Williams, I'm, like, nearing the end, so I just kind of want to, like, wrap that series up just before I, you know, keep adding more and more series onto my channel that, like, never get finished. Fair. Fair. Um, so yeah, basically right now I'm just, uh, copying some of the rock work that I did from the last episode and kind of making, like, this kind of, like, really rough coastal rock look. Um, which was basically, like, just pasting a lot of rocks and, like, orienting them in, like, the most jagged way possible. 
uh, while making it look good. So are you trying to like replicate it one to one or are you just like sort of uh... Um so it's sort of one to one. So overall layout is very one to one. Uh I can pull up a picture here of like what the uh, habitat looks like. Uh so rock work and stuff actually is pretty one to one overall. Um obviously like I'm not doing every individual like crack in the walls and stuff. Um like of the like but I am trying to imitate the kind of patterning of the walls the best I can. Uh, but the actual layout of, like, that little overhang over the, like, dungeon gate and, like, the actual big rocks and stuff are all accurate to how it actually looks. Um, you just go to the aquarium and you start taking pictures of the back of the exhibit? Yeah. So, like, for instance, I'm about to, like, uh, yeah, copy, like, some foliage around. And this is also, like, accurate. So, like, the where I place the plants down is where there are actual plants in the enclosure. You can't ever escape placing down foliage, Nick. <laughs> Uh, it was just like a little bit, so like, I didn't mind it because, like I said, I've been doing a lot of rock work for these enclosures. Uh, there were some rocks poking through there, so I had to like get rid of those quick. And I had to mow the grass because it was clipping through my concrete. Um, but then past that, uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with uh, the the glass uh, there because there is a fence, but uh, I don't know if I included it on camera or not. But I think off camera I had the little fence uh, between the glass and. Um, whatever. But what right now I'm uh, basically recreating the uh, the staircase uh, viewing area that you can look at. Basically, they almost like treat it like it's a, like a show or something. I don't know why they have this set up. Probably just because like you know people like looking at the stellar sea lions. Um, it almost makes me wonder though if they anticipated this habitat to be a um, like outdoor sea lion show uh, like enclosure. You know, what they might have done was, uh, yeah, I actually, I agree with that because you don't really make stellar sea lions do tricks. The stellar sea lion controls you. Yeah, ex exactly. So, like, I almost wonder if this was, uh, and I know back in the day before we had stellar sea lions, they did keep, uh, some California sea lions out here and stuff. I'm just wondering if, yeah, that was when they built this pavilion, if that was the, uh, plan was just, uh, to have, you know... California sea lions uh, do outdoor shows. So, uh, I know that the aquarium keeps California sea lions on exhibit for, like, uh, the shows and stuff, but are they, like, always on exhibit, or are they behind the scenes? Um, so they have their own... They are always indoors. So they are... They don't have an outdoor enclosure like the other sea lions. Um, they have their own... Basically, they're... A, their enclosure is inside of the actual main gallery aquarium. Um, they're like next to the sharks, and so basically you can, if you're in the main gallery, you can see the underwater viewing of the California sea lions, and then their above ground enclosure, if you can even call that, is part of the Foxwoods Marine Theater, which is literally just like where they do their shows. So it's basically just a stage. Like they, don't, like they don't have any like realistic like rock work or anything. They, they, like, so the other sea lions and stuff have obviously, like, themed to, like, where they're from, but, like, the North Pacific. But, yeah, the California sea lions are very much, like, we are an aquarium. They live in a show building, basically. Like, that reminds me of what uh, the Maritime Aquarium in Connecticut is planning to do with their harbor seals, because they used to just have, like, an exhibit that was inside and outside at the same time, mm -hmm. but now they're planning on building a big new thing with underwater viewing i don't know it's yeah like i'm because like part of me like wonders like if they even care though just because um obviously the show building has you know platforms they can go up on and stuff like that and they can, they have an indoor facility uh so yeah i don't know if they actually care too much about the rocks personally. i I know that harbor seals can be kept indoors since there is an aquarium that does it, but I don't know about sea lions since they are a completely different kind of animal. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode though, so thanks for watching guys. You can see our uh, floating sea lions on land, <laughs> uh, but in the water as you can see, the stellar sea lions look uh, pretty good looking. Um, I, re I really like them. Um, I think I think this might be like my favorite aquatic mod just because of how good look looking it is in you know in the flesh as you can see they kind of move around and stuff like 
I like sea lions a lot. I, I, I like when they like turn their head because I think that's like a behavior. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next Mystic episode. Bye. Bye.